Hello there, Stampin' Friends. Welcome to Movie Monday with Jody Breckbill, Stampin' Queen. I am gonna share some projects in the next coming movies that were done in my Wow Wednesday class. So locally, we get together the last Wednesday of every month and we create some Wow projects. And this is one that we really, really enjoyed. Super fun, interesting cards. So we're gonna start using the Detailed With Love stamp set. And we're going to make this pop-up card, which I'm not sure what it's called. I've heard it called a lantern card, um, but it just pops up. So I'm probably gonna have to show you sideways, okay? So it kind of accordion folds into itself. Um, and it's great because I use the six by six Garden Impressions Designer Series paper, which is just the perfect size, and um, just created this fun little interactive card. Now what you would do, obviously this one can't go in the mail, um, regular mail. You would have to do some something a little bit special for that to get it to your friends, but you could put something on the inside here. So you could just slide it right through there, put your little sentiment, sign it, or you could even do it on the back and send them this fun, fun little interactive card. So let's get started. What I needed, I'm gonna make sure to give you dimensions because I don't remember what they were off the top of my head. Um, can you see, I'm gonna do a little bit of scoring. So we need four pieces of So Saffron and we're gonna score at two every two inches. So this is eight and a half, or I'm sorry, this is 11 by two, but what you could do is take your entire eight and a half by 11 piece and score it and then cut it into two inch strips. That would actually be the easiest way to do it but I had these already prepped for class and so this is how I'm gonna do it today. So I'm just gonna put the long end, the 11 inch end at the top of my score and I'm just gonna do every two inches at two, four, six, whoops, that one went off, six, eight, and 10. So this one is not gonna be an even square and that's okay. You can also use 12 by 12 with this one if you want, but we are limited now on 12 by 12, all of our colors. And so I just use the eight and a half by 11. So you're gonna do four of those exactly like that. Let's get rid of this. <clears throat> and then what you'll do is you're just going to start accordion, accordion folding all four of those pieces and that's what your pop-up is, okay? So this little guy right here is what is going to hold it to the base. So that means I wanna decorate the outside of this piece. So I took some squares and let's hope I have enough. One and three quarter by one and three quarter of the designer series paper and I'm just going to mat them right inside the little two inch boxes. So for the DSP, if you are using that, you would need 16 of these guys. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some stamping. So this will be my little sentiment right there. So I'm going to leave that one blank and I might be missing a square. It might have fallen in when I was prepping, but that's okay. I can go back and put it on another time. So I already did these four ahead. That's what the, they'll look like. Then I need, oh, nope, here it is. It's hiding. Oh, that one goes down here. So you can change these sizes up. I'll show you another one that I did that I did a little bit, a little bit more matting with some, some additional color. I don't like you, you're crooked, but that's okay. All right, so I'm gonna take four of my white strips and I'm gonna stamp two of them the same. So we're gonna do, let's celebrate on this one in Calypso Coral. And, whoops, banging the camera, sorry. Then I'm gonna do two happy birthdays. Seems like I've got some goop on my white pieces. <clears throat> Sometimes that happens. Alrighty, scoot those out of the way. And just to have a little added, I keep hitting my camera, I'm so sorry. 
a little added color. I'm just going to do a little swirly down here on the birthday. Make sure I'm straight. Well, that one didn't come out as good as I had planned, but that's okay. We just keep rolling. Somehow there's some adhesive. Yep, it's sticking. I don't like that. All right, so now we're going to attach these guys in the strips. When you start to put this together, it kind of reminds me of an octopus a little bit. Kind of looks like it's got these googly arms hanging off of it. me. All right, and then our final happy birthday. Okay, so let me go ahead and accordion fold these guys real quick. All right, so now I'm going to take a piece of So Saffron and I'm just gonna do some snail adhesive here on the bottom. Snail worked just fine for me. I felt like it was a, it was holding just fine. And then I'm going to eyeball and just kind of get the seam right along the edge and have that in the center. So then I'll do the same across from it. Get some adhesive on here. And I should mention, this is a total case from somebody on Pinterest. I made it a while ago, um, so I don't, a lot of times I make them and then I don't remember where I saw them or who they were. And so anyway, it is not my idea. It is definitely a case from Pinterest. A little adhesive on there. I try to give credit where I can, but you know, you go down that rabbit hole and sometimes you're like, whoa, I don't even know what day it is. I've been on Pinterest for so long. All right, eyeball that one, and then one more. Let me turn it around. See how they start to look like an octopus here? It's funny to work with it. You need a lot of space. Okay, so then we're gonna flip that open, put our DSP in here. And I don't like to be too sparing on my designer paper because I want it to stick. I don't want it to peel off. And I know if you guys are in Pennsylvania where I am, it has been crazy humid lately. My air conditioner is having a hard time keeping up. All right, so this is how things are gonna start to come together here. All right, there we go. So there's our, there's our base. So now I've got two strips of So Saffron, and I do want to make, I want to make a cross out of these two, but I want to make sure that I'm using some tear and tape, okay? Because this is the pole, and it's it's getting a lot of pressure, so I want to make sure that it is, it's good and sticky. So I'm just going to put two pieces of tear and tape, oops, excuse my arm, tear and tape in here and just kind of make a little cross for these two to stick together. I'm not sure, I might have made my sticky strip a little bit too, I did. A little bit too long. But I think, yes, all right, <laughs> woohoo! All right, so while we're here, I've got two circles. I'm going to layer those together. I've got a saffron and I've got a navy. And then I'm going to just take a standard hole punch and just punch a hole in the center of those guys so it looks like our little record. Now I'm also going to take some tear and tape on each end here. And that again is just because this is the pull. So we don't want to pull this up and watch everything kind of fall apart because the snail adhesive is just not quite sturdy enough for the wear and tear. So tear and tape to the rescue. All right, this one got a little long. Let's see if I, I don't know if I can, 
yeah, I think I can fold it back on itself. Look perfect. Okay, so now what I did was I bring two, am I on camera? I tend to start to go a little high. I bring two pieces in here and I kind of eyeball for the for the center and I'm just going to close that piece on there, hold that down, peel that guy off. This guy's going to come in, I'm going to stick it, it goes in underneath of there. Same thing on the other side. Bring that in, push everybody down. So if you're a little off center, it's okay. We just basically want to make sure that um, that this will go flat so that you can you could put it in like make your own envelope if you need to, but that it would store totally flat. All right, sometimes this is like herding cats in here. All right, so then this piece is just going to come on, and there we go. Now, it's working. Yay. Okay, so now I took this circle that I created, and I've got some of our beautiful navy gingham ribbon, and I just ran that through there, and then I'm going to attach it with a little bit of tear and tape on here. So hold it down and do two pieces because again, I want to make sure that this <clears throat> uh, circle stays on there nice and tight. So I'm going to go ahead and do one in the middle on my cross as well. I like to make sure that it is definitely attached. I don't want it to come off. Now on the other one that I'm going to show you, I did run, I ran the ribbon down through and tied a knot underneath of there so it pulled out and it was actually stuck through there it works just fine um, but this works just fine get you out of here this works just fine as well with a little less little less work so there's our pull tab and there's our fun lantern card so here's a pink one that I did, and this one is a couple more layers. This was the first one I made. So I just added some yellow in there and did Calypso Coral. This is the one that I ran the ribbon down through the bottom and then um, tied a knot in it. And so this one works just fine as well. Same, same pack of paper, Garden Impressions Designer Paper. So there's two ways that you can create this. So I'm going to give them away. Both of these are gonna to go to a Stampin' Friend. So all you need to do is watch this movie and make a comment. And today is Movie Monday, which is Labor Day. So on Friday, which I think is, oh, September 7th, 2018, I'm gonna pick a winner, okay? And then I'll pick two winners and I'll send you each one of these. So thanks so much for joining me, you guys. Have a wonderful week and I will see you next week for Movie Monday.